Hi guys, Alec Pierce at the ranch with another tip. This is another piece of neat equipment that, uh, that the guys at Grip, that's uh, Grand, Rapids. Grand Rapids Industrial Products, sent me to, uh, to try. And I've been using this around the ranch. We have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight. Oh, the bulldozer. We have nine motorized vehicles here at the ranch, all of which require maintenance. And, and the most common uh, maintenance that they require, of course, is oil changes, grease jobs, and stuff like that. Oil changes are not a big problem. Uh, on the bulldozer and the tractor, there are three different filters. And I've got the hydraulics and the diesel and everything else uh, on each one of them. Point is that this particular tool got a pretty good workout. I already have a couple of strap wrenches. That's what it is, a strap wrench. I already have a couple, but this one has proven to be pretty nice, pretty nice. i got to tell you right now. First of all, it's very small, very compact. The other strap wrenches I have are big, much bigger than this. Also, this is extremely well made. This is not, well, I guess it's plastic, it's a synthetic material, but it's that... I don't know, what is, what is this stuff, Kevin? It's Lexan, or very, very tough industrial stuff. There's no way you're going to break this. Same stuff your steering wheel is made of. When's the last time you saw a broken steering wheel? It just doesn't happen. The rubber is very, very tough, and it has a stainless steel. Unlike the other ones I have, which are all plastic, there's just a stainless steel hinge on it. And you, Now, you know how these work. If, if, if you've used a, a, a wrench like this at all, you know how they work. Let me just figure it out for myself here. You slide that down in through there. Then you put this around something, very commonly an oil filter like this because oil filters you know they, they 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 go on not too tightly you know you, you put them on not too tightly but then it's strange enough when you go to take them off they're really really tight and and uh, and so you just put it on like so snug as you can around there and then when you fold this over the teeth in here grab the rubber and you just turn it on or turn it off you wouldn't use just to turn it on you only go on hand tight but if you go to take it off it comes off very easily and the filters on the uh, on the uh, bulldozer in particular are quite large they're five or six inches in diameter and, and they're, they're hard to get in there so the short handle is handy i just found like i just slip it in and just get enough to free the filter before it hit the uh, the exhaust manifold with my bigger strap wrench, I can't do that. So I'm in there with, you know, what guys use, you and me as well. And you get a big set of channel locks and try to get in there. Gosh, I remember one time I got fed up and I took a hammer and drove it right through the oil filter and <laughs> used the, hand, the, the wrench. But anyway, uh, I found this pretty handy. Now, they've also shown on the back picture, I'll pull it out of here, Kevin, on the back of the picture and the packaging, another use that I hadn't thought of, plumbing. Yes, that's right. You know, when you're replacing sinks or taps or drains, uh, things like that, uh, uh, those connections have to be pretty snug. And sometimes the hard pool on my pool, when I'm opening the pool in the spring, I never thought about that, but pretty soon I'll be doing the pool. And all the fittings have to be tightened up really snugly. So that strap wrench is going to get a lot of use. So anyway, um, I don't know. If you haven't used a strap wrench, they are really, really handy. If you have used a strap wrench and you're looking for a better one that will do a, a, a lot of different jobs for you, this one from Grip, uh, Kevin's going to put the information there for you. I've tried it now for about two months and I found it really handy. Everything I put this strap around, I've been able to tighten or loosen as the case may be. I really like it. I don't know how much they are. I have no idea how much they are. But, uh, but as long as they're reasonably priced, I think you'll find us a real good one. Okay? Good strap wrench. Alec Pierce at the ranch. Maybe that's a good idea for you. Take care. Talk to you soon.